Hello. Okay. Um, gonna start building a teardrop. Um, haven't come up with a YouTube name for this, but I'm gonna build a teardrop, a four by eight. Um, first I bought the trailer from Harbor Freight. Um, let me show you here. <clears throat> I got pieces hanging. It's uh came red, the trailer. It's a folding trailer, but it's not going to be folding, being in teardrop. And I am painting them with a hammered black. So, I'm getting <clears throat> onto that part. But as you can see, I got the upgraded 1,700-pound trailer with the bigger wheels. I'm not going to be using these fenders. I have yet to pick the fenders I'm going to be using. But I'm not going to get rid of those fenders. I'll find a use for them. But, um, let me see. As you can see, I got this set up. I'm starting to sand and get ready to prep these. The first one I painted didn't come out as good. Didn't get it right, but I'm working on it. <sighs> Here's the actual guide from the trailer. And then inside, I, I'll do some pauses and some videos. Here's the nose of the trailer i was just laying it out this will bolt up in the front here make sure you can see what i'm doing oh, this piece goes under here this goes there this will bolt onto there um, here's the bag of the chains for when you hook it up to your car here's all the nuts and bolts <clears throat> I'm not sure. These might be for those side brackets that go on this trailer for wooden racks, which I won't be using. These are the down. This will bolt onto the bottom of that bracket there. So I'm just going to get everything painted first and then I will put it together. So I could do a video, parts of the video showing that. Um, but what I'm going to be doing right now is just, oop, let me see if I could set this here. Um, sand here a bit. I know time lapsing and I'm going to figure all that out. But for now, I just want to get all these sanded real good and then wipe them down. So that the paint holds really good. And the paint here, I'll show you the paint that I'm using. It's a rust oleum hammered black. So it's going to be kind of that top. Because I really don't want the red on the trailer. So. <clears throat> Find a way to speed lap it. I'll get better as I go. <laughs> but you want to make sure you sand it all really good, all the edges are good. Because if you don't, the paint will have nothing to stick to and it'll just wipe off. Don't always ask the people at any part where what to do. So she was telling me, don't stand it. You don't need to with this. And I said, yeah, you do. You need to stand everything. Or it won't adhere to it. So, just so you can see one here. No. on it anything because this is the main side you're going to be seeing this will all be on the inside not as crucial so i was going to hang these and paint these it's what i did to this first one but i got runs in it so i'm not happy so i'm going to paint these all on the table being face down or face up so i can get a nicer more even coat of paint on it No 
hurry, if you just take your time, I think it's better. I'm disabled, so I'll be working on mine every day, and I'll be trying to do videos regularly, and I can help with any cuts and measurements. The teardrop I'm, I'm building, um, I want to give credit to um, Oregon Batman. He is the one that um, inspired me watching his videos. Well, he's using Phylon and his cabinets and things that he did. I appreciated and liked, but I, I'm going to change mine up. Um, I think I'm going to go with a wood look. I'm probably going to put something on the bottom like a Phylon aluminum some sheet on the bottom for moisture splashing up and rocks and debris from under the trailer but the top i'm going to just do a lot of urethane i haven't figured out exactly i'm going to kind of do it as i go so it's going to be a little different but if it's ideas you like or some tips or hints that you can you know give me or suggestions if you think something will work better but i'd like to build with you guys and make this all happen so this is like the first video so i'm just trying to of this i've done reveals and, and open box videos and i know you don't want to watch me sanding all this metal so what i'll do is i'll stop and post this video and then i'll post more and more videos just i'm not gonna try and time lapse it and just show you the beginning of the trailer to the end because I'm, I'm not at that point of making videos but i will um post a video of me prepping it getting it you know because you don't need to watch me do the whole thing as you can see i'm hanging some of them to paint them i got three hooks as you can see one's already painted here i can hang three at a time but i've decided on the ones that are going to show on the side while well, i hung one and painted it i'm there's some not real happy with it i'm going to paint the rest of them face down and also all of this here where it's going to be seen like the front of that piece right there and the tops of these here of course I'll tape all this lettering on the side so you can't see it because I'm going to be building a box or something here in the front to hold batteries and stuff so that's where I'm at on this first video but please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to join this build with me oh here's the axle that came with it course it's a bearing there's bearings on it but it's going to be it's the heavier duty it's the 17 1700 pound trailer and i believe the total weight of the trailer is going to be less than 1100 pounds the materials list and stuff i got from oregon batman but i'm gonna be doing let me see here if i could show you the here it is the weight capacity of the trailer 780 kilograms or 17 1720 pounds and it's you know i could always change things up and do things this is our first trailer for us I'm not sure if i'm going to make the doors yet or order doors i haven't decided and i may still go with phylon on the wrap the whole thing or luma i'm leaning towards wanting the wood look and putting lots of really nice woods on it and um lots of coats of urethane but like and subscribe to the channel and i will do another video putting it together after painting it and i'll do another video when it's done you know like part of it putting it together maybe an axle so that all this can be part of it if you take the same path as me going with this trailer and i believe the harbor freight trailer was under 500 dollars. it was 450 
So for this build on this teardrop that I'm doing, um, I think you'll like it. So thanks and please subscribe and I'll be doing more videos um, building this teardrop. It's going to come pretty quick um, and any advice or any tips or comments I'd greatly appreciate because um, this is just a short little get started video but you'll see the path and where I'm going with this teardrop and I don't know exactly 100% where it's going to go but I know it's going to be beautiful in the end and I hope you join me and follow me and, and we'll build the trailer together. Thanks. Bye.